Okay, so I'm gonna show you a bit on an update on the printer because I'm taking the bed area apart because I need to I I had to do a bit of adjustment and I'm taking the opportunity to show you a bit some close-ups on the parts and um, some updates on what I've changed and what I'm working on. Okay, so the the reason I I took this apart the bed is because it was a bit wobbly like this side to side because the this one is kind of kind of small maybe it was a better idea to use the bigger one like this I don't know but we're stuck with this for now so. Uh, the side wheels were quite loose now they're uh, they're quite fixed and moves a bit harder what I did is you have the eccentrics here and you just uh, tighten uh, with a wrench a bit here and here and now it's quite sturdy should be no more side movement okay so I think uh, this one is a bit uh, of new adjustment. I fixed it with screws here. I connect the power the power adapter to here. And I power it from here. So now this one is fixed. And uh, it's at the front of the printer. And it's quite useful. In case something, uh, the head uh, smashes in the bed or something else. Sometimes I had a bit of problem with this one. Uh, you can see I changed it. It's a small, very thin cardboard now here. Um, let's see, nothing here yet. Uh, this part you probably know it, but I'm gonna show it a bit close. So this one is just a pom wheel, like uh, this here, and there are two on this side, and uh, one here on this side. Um, what can I show you around? Uh, one change, one major change I did. It's uh, now the the board is powered directly from the 24 line so it's not drawing uh, current on the, from the USB from the computer basically how I did that is by let's see if I can show you so you can see there a diode it's a scotch diode it has only 0.2 or voltage drop and on the back okay so this one here is the second pin is the V6 it's the point where you can uh, uh, give power to the Raspberry Pico so this is one leg of the diode this one is the second and it goes down to here and here it's a uh, okay so it's this one it's a DC to DC converter takes 24 volts and outputs uh, 5 volts here it's adjustable by this potentiometer initially I installed it uh, just for the LED so I have an LED light here See that one, and uh, it's this blue wire. I connect here, and I use the same lines to connect to this diode. So basically, I'm taking five volts and putting it here. Uh, is the way recommended in the manual so 
whenever the there's five volts here the the raspberry pico will use that if it has no power here then it will use the usb so most of the time it uses this one and uh, i'll show you when you connect it on the pc it shows it draws zero zero watts zero amps okay now i think uh, we're gonna rebuild this the bed all right so first thing we're gonna use these spacers there are five millimeters on the inside i don't know exactly the outside i have the magnet here for the end stop now we're gonna have to adjust this the right way okay now we're gonna tighten them a bit Okay, and what I wanted is no side movement like this. Before I had quite a bit of side movement, now there's no side movement. It's excellent. Okay, these are tight now. And now I'm gonna put the plexiglass bed. I think we can also print on this surface, surface directly, but I'm still gonna use the mirror. So we need to put the springs. Okay, and now we can put the wheels. It's gonna be a bit tricky. Hmm, or not. Okay, let's put the last two screws in. There. Yeah, it was. I thought it's gonna be harder, but everything went quite well. Well, I'm having a bit of issue with this screw here. There, it went. This one is the other way. All right, they're all in. So 
so there's still a bit of wobble but much less So this one moves quite tight now, like this, so there's not much we can do about this. Yeah, maybe a, a two rail design, like they do in Prus Prusa and all the others, is probably a better, better idea, but I don't think it's gonna be a big deal. Alright, let's connect uh, this. This is basically the Z end stop, and we're using it for the Z calibration with uh, the magnet, the clicky probe. All right, and here comes the mirror, and it's here. Okay, I think uh, this is it for now. I'm gonna post the uh, next video, it's gonna be about Clipper config how we we check the how I how we adjust the the screws using clipper to tell us exactly how much we need to turn this then we're gonna do Z cali Z calibration offset maybe manually and automatically as well we'll see exactly if we need this or not and um, I have a few more settings. We're gonna start the basic config so we can print. Like uh, I have some macros with uh, basic calibration. Then we start to print some purge line and then uh, first layer uh, squares. And then I think we're basically done with everything working and then we can start printing. Okay, hope you enjoy this, like and subscribe if you want to see some more.